guys, it's Ishani. So today we are going to be talking all about the upcoming Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. If you guys aren't familiar with this, Ulta runs this sale, I think it's twice a year. I wanna say it's once in the fall and once in the spring. I'm not super familiar with this sale like I am with the Sephora VIB sale, as we know. But this is an event that I've gotten more and more interested in as time goes on because you can score some really, really good deals at this sale. The way this sale works is for 21 days, Ulta essentially has flash sales. Every single day, there are new products that are marked down to like 50% off. And most of these products aren't even like seasonal things. They are permanent items, some of them even fan favorites that for a single day are marked down to be 50% off. So especially if you already love any of these products and you wanna stock up on them, this would be a great time to do it because 50% off is way better than the 20% off that we get at Sephora for their VIB sale. The only caveat with this sale, of course, is that it's not on the entire Ulta store. Every single day, there are already a couple of items specifically that are chosen to be on sale. And of course, you gotta stay on top of it because the items are only on sale for that particular day. This round of the 21 Days of Beauty starts on March 13th, which when I upload this video, it's either gonna be tomorrow or day after tomorrow, so keep an eye out. And then it runs through April 2nd, which again, conveniently, that's the time that the Sephora VIB sale starts. So this is just sale on top of sale on top of sale. So today's video, we're gonna be chatting about the best items, in my opinion, that are offered throughout this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I'm not gonna talk about each and every product. I'm not even gonna talk about every single day of things that are on sale. I just went through the preview catalog and picked out the particular products that I would suggest you guys keep an eye out for this sale, mostly because these are either tried and true items, items that I already have in my collection that I absolutely love. And I'll also chat about a couple of the items that I have on my personal wish list. Kicking off the sale on March 13th, there are two items that are offered 50% off that day that I would say keep your eyes out for. First off, the original Beauty Blender, the original pink egg sponge that I absolutely love, the one that I use to apply my foundation basically on a daily basis. That is going to be 50% off. These sponges are ridiculously expensive full price. They're normally $20, but on Sunday, March 13th, it will be marked down to $10, and I will be picking up a couple of them. Another item that if you guys love, this is the time I would recommend you guys stop up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Brow Pencil. That item is gonna be marked down from $23 to $11.50, which is a really, really good price for that pencil. I know that there are a lot of dupes or similar products on the market nowadays. A lot of people say you don't need to invest in the Anastasia Brow Pencil, which overall, on the whole, I do agree with. However, where Anastasia does have an edge against a lot of other brands is they have an insane color range. This brow pencil comes in 12 different shades, which for a brow pencil is a very, very vast color range. And especially if your brow hair is kind of nuanced in tone or it's a unique tone, sometimes it's hard to find those types of pencils in drugstore brands, for example. So Anastasia has you covered with that. And honestly, for $11, I would say that's a really, really good price for that pencil. On Monday, March 14th, I would keep it an eye out for the Smashbox primers. All of the Smashbox primers are gonna be marked down from $39 to $19.50. I feel like Smashbox is best known for their facial primers, and while there are a lot of other facial primers on the market, and I know a lot of people say that primer is not a necessity, for someone like me who has 
normal to oily skin, I personally do benefit from a foundation primer. And the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer is one of my go-to facial primers. I use it just in my enlarged pore areas and it helps kind of mask the large pores. It helps foundation not sink into those pores and it mattifies my skin. So it helps foundation last longer on me. But of course, Smashbox has a whole range of primers. So if you're someone who likes something a little bit more hydrating, something more silicone based, something more dewy, I mean, you can find everything in the Smashbox primer range. On Thursday, March 17th, the KVD Beauty Liner, her liquid liner in Trooper, is marked down from $23 to $11.50. And this is one of the OG liquid pen style liners. I used to love this back in the day when I loved the Stila Stay All Day waterproof liner pens. Those were really good. The KVD was really good. The KVD one definitely excelled because it has a brush tip over a felt tip. I will say I haven't used this liner pen in a while, but I do remember years ago, this was my holy grail and go-to. So if you're looking for a good liner pen, I would check that one out. There are also supposed to be some surprise steals, as Ulta puts it, on Friday, March 18th and Saturday, March 19th. Friday is supposed to be a surprise steal from Too Faced, and Saturday is supposed to be a surprise steal from Lancome. Because I don't know what they are yet, I can't recommend or not recommend them, but I figured I'd mention there might be some surprises thrown in via this sale. On Sunday, March 20th, this one is one of my most exciting ones. The Buxom Full-On Plumping Lip Creams are marked down from $20 to $10. Sorry, they're marked down from $21 to $10.50, but you guys get the drift. There are 20 different shades available in these plumping lip creams. And if you guys are in the market for a really nice, comfortable, slightly plumping, tingly feeling lip gloss. I want to say this is Buxom's kind of hero formula in their brand. It seems to be the thing that everybody loves from the brand. I haven't heard a single person say anything negative about the Buxom lip creams, so I definitely recommend you guys look into this if you're looking for a good lip gloss. On Monday, March 21st, there's an item that I have not tried personally, but I've heard really good things about. This is the Urban Decay brow blade waterproof eyebrow pencil and ink stain. It's marked down from $26, which I feel like is very expensive for a brow product, but it's marked down to $13 on this day. A really good time to try it if you guys are interested in some type of eyebrow staining product. Again, I personally haven't tried it, so this isn't a personal recommendation. It's just something that I know I've heard good things about. On Wednesday, March 23rd, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be excited about this one. The Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid lipsticks are marked down to $10. These are originally $20 liquid lipsticks and I don't think I've heard very much about this formula. Although to be completely fair, I don't seek out information about Jaclyn Cosmetics in general. They do come in 15 different shades. So there seems to be a pretty decent shade range. If you guys have been interested in these liquid lipsticks, this would definitely be the time to try them. On Thursday, March 24th, this is an item that is on my personal wish list. I'm kind of excited to give it a shot. This is the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier Broad Spectrum SPF 45. I'm not completely sure if this is meant to be more of a makeup primer or more of a sunscreen. It obviously touts the sunscreen SPF 45, which I'm all about, but I'm also all about the fact that it says it's a mattifier and an oil controlling product. I think that's something that is pretty rare to find in a sunscreen. I know I'm really, really happy with my Super Goop sunscreens. I really don't have any reason to try a new sunscreen other than I'm just curious out of curiosity. And this product is marked down from $45 to $22.50. On Friday, March 25th and Saturday, March 26th, there are two more surprise steals. Friday's surprise steal is from Benefit and Saturday's surprise steal is from Fresh. Again, no clue what they are, but I will say if the Fresh steal is their lip sugar lip balms, I recommend those. The chance that it happens to be the lip balms 
probably slim to none. Fresh has a lot of different items in their collection, but just throwing it out there. If you're gonna get the lip balms half off, I do recommend them. Also on Saturday, March 26th, the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream Illumination with SPF 50 is also 50% off. It's marked down from $42 to $21. I think this is a really, really good foundation, CC cream, just coverage item in general. I used to have this in my collection, but I ran out of it or it went bad or something. I got rid of it at some point in my life. I really liked it, but I think I just have too many complexion items in my collection right now. And there are too many new foundations coming out on the market that I'm interested in trying. So I personally won't repurchase this, but if you guys are in the market for a good complexion item, the CC cream is really good. Ah, here we are, Sunday, March 27th. The Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner Pencil is 50% off. From $23, it is marked down to $11.50. This was another one of my go-to liquid liner pencils. I think I prefer the KVD one just because it has a brush tip over the Stila one, which has a felt tip, but they're both really good. So if you need a good black eyeliner pen, I mean, this sale has you covered. This is another item on my personal wish list on Thursday, March March 31st, the MAC Face and Body Liquid Foundation is marked down. It's originally $36, it's gonna be marked down to 18. And this is one of those OG liquid foundations back in the day. People were obsessed with this. This was back before the whole BB cream, CC cream, tinted moisturizer thing was really, really popular. MAC Face and Body. This was it. If you wanted something that was a good, lightweight, light coverage, literal foundation for your face and body, this was the go-to. I kind of want to purchase it again, just, just for nostalgia's sake. I haven't had it in my collection in many years now, so I might. I might purchase that. On Friday, April 1st, the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow Tinted Brow Mascara thing is gonna be marked down from $24 to $12. So if that is one of your go-to brow products, I know it is a lot of people's go-to brow product. This would definitely be the time to stock up. Also, on Friday, April 1st and Saturday, April 2nd, there are more surprise steals. Friday surprise steal is from Foreo and and Saturday's surprise seal is from Too Faced. Again, just FYI, keep an eye out if either of those brands interest you. On Saturday, April 2nd, this is the item you guys wanna keep an eye out for. I'm telling you right now, do not skip on this item. The Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base is going to be marked down. It's gonna be marked down from $64, which I know, ooh, that's, that's something. But it's gonna be marked down to 32, which I know is still a splurge for a moisturizer, but I'm telling you guys, if you are looking for a really nice, very luxurious face, primer moisturizer combo. This is the best. It leaves your skin very, very glowy, very hydrated. Your skin will just drink this product up. A little bit goes a very, very long way. I have a jar in my collection right now that I've been using for months and I am coming down to the end of it. I already have my backup that I purchased during the Nordstrom anniversary sale this past year. But if you guys did not get a chance to stock up during the anniversary sale, this is an amazing deal. 50% off of this product, this is when you're going to want to try it. Trust and believe you will thank me for this one. Definitely put this on your wish list. And I guess that is it, you guys. I went through all of the days. Is it just me or did this video fly right by? I definitely thought I was gonna have more to chat about here. If you were only going to purchase one item during this sale, what do I recommend? It would definitely be the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. That's an item that you rarely get on sale. It is such a nice item. And because it's so expensive, full price, Price, you're saving a lot of money getting it on sale. The second thing I would definitely recommend if you don't already have one is the Beauty Blender sponge. Again, 50% off of that sponge is incredible. It's right in line with the price of like a Real Technique sponge or something, 50% off. So that would be the second thing I would recommend. And then the third thing, the Buxom lip glosses. I love those items too. They're a fan favorite across the board. So if you're looking for a good lip gloss formula, again, 
50% off that formula is awesome. There you have it. That wraps up my thoughts on the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale for spring of 2022. Let me know in the comments down below, what are you guys interested in picking up from this sale? Does anything catch your attention? Is it just me or are the offerings this year maybe not quite as enticing as previous sales. And I can't believe when this sale is over, the Sephora sale will have started. So we'll definitely be chatting about that in future videos. Stay tuned on my channel for that. But in the meantime, thank you so much for your love and support on my channel. I appreciate it more than you guys will ever know. I will talk to you guys in my next video very, very soon. I'll see you then. Bye.